So another live stream is all said and done. And this one was actually more interesting than I originally thought because I really didn't play that much franchise mode over the past couple years. But they did discuss a lot of things and I'm going to be going over that in another video. This is going to be about the legends they revealed in this live stream. The first legend they revealed was Jim Palmer. Now I'm not really sure how many starting pitchers they revealed so far. I'm not really sure. I don't think they did. Did they even release other starting pitchers? I may be failing miserably by saying that, but I don't really remember them uh, revealing any starting pitchers. That were like really good diamonds, I mean. But this Jim Palmer, they said his uh, fastball was going to reach like 96 on the gun. So that's pretty decent for 77 velocity. And he also has 94 stamina with uh, 85 hits per nine and 75 break two and he also said i forget who said it but one guy said that he has a very nasty curve i think he may have said like one of the nastiest curves in the game for uh for a legend possibly but with 75 break we're gonna have to wait and see because obviously there's gonna be those pitchers and stuff later in the game that are revealed or just you get to play with who have like 90 high 90s break and stuff so it's good to see a starting pitcher revealed because I'm sure a lot of people were waiting to see that. This Jim Palmer is pretty decent. I mean, I don't know. I'm one of those guys who likes to use pitchers who throw like triple digits, man. I'm sure a lot of people are like that too, but 96 on the gun is pretty good. And if, if he has a very good curveball too, then he may be better than I than I think. But yeah, we're just, we're just going to have to wait and see till we all get our hands on Jim Palmer apparently too. So... Uh, the second legend they revealed was Eric Karros. Now, he's actually pretty decent as well, too. This is actually more than decent because if, if you're someone like me, I like to use the righties who are very good against the right-handers. And 79 contact versus righties isn't amazing, but 92 contact versus lefties is very, very good. 95 power versus righties. That is exactly what I am saying, man. It is always good to have righties who can hit for power against righties too. So 79 contact with 95 power against righties is very good if you ask me, man. 63 vision isn't going to isn't going to make anybody's eyes pop out of their heads or anything, but that's not, you know, like 40 something vision, 30 something vision where you pretty much just have to close your damn eyes and pray pretty much that he gets a hold of the ball. But that's pretty decent, man. Like they were saying in that um, in that video too, he would be good to even use against uh, lefties if you just want to hit for contact and stuff too. And it's kind of surprising too because usually when you see uh, those righties with good contact, you you will um, you, yeah they'll they'll usually have very good power versus lefties too. But you don't really see that with this Eric Karros with uh, 63 power and. Uh, 92 contact he also has 59 speed which for a first baseman is very good more than very good so that's this is actually a pretty solid card i was very surprised at how how good this card actually was i mean for some people they may, may look at this card and be like uh this isn't even that good man what are you even saying but i like to use those righties who are very good against the right handers and especially if they can hit for power too. 63 vision is really the only downside to this card if you ask me all the hitting stats are good and yeah pretty much like everything else is good 59 speed for a first baseman and six i didn't even say this yet 60 i'm sure everybody has two eyes and can see it in front of their damn faces but uh 76 fielding is also a pretty pretty decent for a first baseman too that's more than average definitely like it's it, it kind of sucks when you pick up those first basemen who have like 50 something fielding but they have like amazing hitting stats so eric Karros with the good hitting stats and the above average fielding and way above average speed this is going to be a very good card to use in this game if you ask me but this was just the two legends they revealed in uh, this live stream. Like I said, I'm going to be going over everything else they discuss. I'm probably going to talk about the critical situations because that really stood out for me in this live stream. So that was pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to make a video on that. Uh, they'll probably be, I don't even know, man. It's either going to be posted very, very late uh, tonight or it's going to be posted sometime in the afternoon tomorrow or something. So yeah, look out for that video. And I need to get this over with because I'm in the middle of watching Canada versus Dominican in the World Baseball Classic. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to go over the new legends in this live stream if nobody saw. And leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. That's it.